thanks for joining us this election night. I'm Andrew Reeser. And I'm Ashley Minnelli. Residents in middle Georgia hit the polls today to vote on big issues like consolidation. And to help state and local lawmakers make it through the first round of the election. And I hit the precincts on the north, west, and south side of Bibb County today. And it was really exciting to see so many people just out there excited to exercise their right to vote. One issue involving two governments drove hundreds of Bibb County and Macon residents to the polls for the July 31st primary election. Consolidation. The consolidation. Consolidation partially. Uh, of course, consolidation. It's been a big decision for our area for a long time, and I was glad to vote on that today. That big ballot question, paired with state and local races, already drew in a crowd of nearly 8,000 during early voting in Bibb County. The executive director of the Macon Bibb County Board of Elections predicts this year's numbers are going to be impressive. Compared to four years ago, huge number. But that just goes to show that the interest is out there. So we should have pretty good turnout today. It was a busy morning for precincts all over the county. By 11 a.m. on Tuesday, Northeast High School saw more than 300 people punch their ballots. And even though he had concerns about picking a party, voter Sean Casey that. says exercising his right to vote is worth making that decision. In the end, if you want something to change, vote. Otherwise, don't complain about it. That feeling is shared by Pastor Derek uh, Duma. I just, I'm a strong believer that if you're not a voter, then you really don't have much to say about uh, what happens in our community. Hundreds of people who live in North Bibb County want their voice to be heard. By lunchtime Tuesday, around 400 people had already stopped by Mabel White Baptist Church. And even the smaller precincts, like Bruce Elementary, had a steady flow of voters all morning all with the same mindset. If you really want to change or you want to see something better for our city, then that will be the thing to do is vote. Because as every Georgia voter knows, every vote counts. And don't worry if you haven't cast your ballot yet, there is still some time left to vote. The, close polls, the polls close at 7, rather, and as long as you're in line, your vote will count. Tonight, we'll be sure to keep you posted on election results throughout the evening here on 41NBC, online at 41NBC.com, and at 10 on our sister station, My41.2. Remember to stay tuned after the Olympics this evening for a special edition of 41NBC News to hear from candidates who win, lose, and make it to a runoff.